Hello Capricorn, welcome to a you and them love reading. We're going to be looking at your connection, how you feel about one another, and where is all of this headed in the near future. As always, it's a general love reading, so that means it will not resonate with every Capricorn watching this video. So take what resonates, leave the rest. If it doesn't resonate at all, then check out my playlist for Capricorn. I'll have it linked up in the cards. And you can also look at my playlist um, by clicking on my username here on YouTube. All right, let's get into this. Spirits and just got us messages for Capricorn in love. Let's look at the overall energy for your connection. What's the energy surrounding this connection, Spirit? Oh, we got budding romance. New love, romance, courtship. Romance is in the air. I get one more now this reading will be for those of you who are already in a connection or have someone in mind What's the energy surrounding this connection paralyzing fear anxiety fear paralysis fear is holding you back someone is feeling obviously fearful possibly about love about new love about a new opportunity Maybe they have feelings for someone, but haven't had, ooh, I have reached out at the bottom of the deck here. So maybe someone's feeling hesitant about reaching out here. So let's jump into how you feel about each other. I have two decks here. I'm gonna use one deck for you, Capricorn, and one deck for your person. Uh, feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more for you. Spirit, tell me more about Capricorn. Tell me more about Capricorn. What is Capricorn thinking or feeling towards this person or this connection? For Capricorn. For Capricorn. Ten of Cups. Reverse. The Chariot. Reverse. Cancer Energy. Hmm. Ten of Wands reverse. Okay, I have two tens here. Bottom of the deck, Six of Swords. Um, tens are all about completion, um, reaching the end of something to have a new beginning, a culmination. They're both reverse. So I feel like you've gone through some sort of ending or um, there's been a transition that's happening for your life. And that makes sense because I have the Six of Swords, which is a card all about moving forward, transition leaving difficulty behind and moving towards calmer waters um now i say that but there's a big but there uh i have the chariot reverse so i'm going to clarify this um, but first i want to put your energies down and then your person's energies down but usually the chariot reverse is all about like a uh, a dead stop you know um being on the wrong path or uh, hitting the brakes, you know, there's no movement, no progression. But for me as a reader, the chariot reverse can also indicate a complete change in direction because the direction you're in right now clearly didn't lead anywhere or there's delays or, or hurdles or just breaks, right? So someone might feel the need to turn around and do something completely different. So we'll see what that chariot reverse means for you. Now with the Ten of Cups reverse, there's unhappiness, disappointment, heartbreak, Let's get an oracle for your energy. Tell me more about Capricorn's energy. For Capricorn, please. Tell me more about Capricorn's energy. Tell me more about Capricorn's energy. Oh, we got the frog. Renewal, clean, uh, cleansing, healing. So you're healing from something or are going through some sort of renewal process um, where maybe you are doing a lot of self-care, focusing on yourself. The, the frog is an energy about washing away, you know, like the water's falling down here and it's, you know, cleaning and also washing away impurities or anything else. Um... So I feel like you're def you've definitely gone through something and I feel like it's regarding love. I don't know if it's 
this person in particular, this other person we're going to jump into, or if it's just love in general. So let's look at your person. Spirit, tell me about this person that Capricorn is dealing with or is in a connection with. Oops. That was a terrible shuffle. Tell me more, please. What is this person thinking or feeling about Capricorn or this connection? this person what are their energies towards Capricorn or this connection what are they thinking of at this time it's Capricorn it's got the nine of pentacles oh I got two the hangman Temperance reverse, Sagittarius energy there. Interesting. This person is a hangman or has hangman energy. And I feel like I instantly thought of the chariot reverse. Like you're marrying each other. There's no progression on either side. Uh, no action on either side. There might not even be communication. Now, with Temperance Reverse, there's um, something that hasn't come together in, in harmony or balance. Um, more time is needed, more energy is needed, more work is needed to bring something into balance. Um, there could be impatience, uh, frustration here because something's not really coming together. Now, with the Nine of Pentacles, I feel like this person, this is how they're viewing you. You know, I feel like they see you as someone very attractive. They're drawn to you in some way. So let's clarify. Let's get more information about how you feel about each other. Let's try, oh wait, first of all, before I do that, let me pick an energy oracle for this person. Tell me more about this person's energy, please. That Capricorn is dealing with. What is the energy they're bringing to this connection? Okay, the horse. So they want to make some sort of movement here. Interesting. The horse is also about kind of like being free to move. So maybe this person's um, needing to be free, wanting to be free. We'll clarify. But with the horse, there's momentum. So I feel like your person at least wants to have some sort of, make some sort of move or, or take some sort of action here with the horse. All right, so let's get some clarity on your cards here. Tell me more for Capricorn, please. Can you clarify, please? For Capricorn. Tell me about the Ten of Cups reverse. What's this about? Ten of Cups could also be, um, when it's reversed, it could also be like family issues so let's see tell me about the ten of cups reverse what's this about for capricorn nine of pentacles so see i think you are this person this you both have the nine of pentacles i feel like this person sees you as a nine of pentacles this is you you're free independent secure yeah, Eight of Swords Reverse. You're free of something, possibly a family situation, or you're free from an emotional difficulty. Tell me more about the Ten of Cups Reverse. Wow, Knight of Cups. Yeah, I feel like... I'm going to have the Three of Swords Reverse. So I feel like you are healing from a disappointment, or maybe moving forward, maybe there's a new... Someone new that's caught your eye with this Knight of Cups. Maybe someone wants to apologize. But for some reason, I feel like this is the frog. Like, 
you've done this for yourself or you are in a new and in, in, in like a better stage of your life or just in a better place emotionally tell me about the chariot reverse tell me about the chariot reverse Ten of Swords. Yes, there's been some sort of ending. You have three tens here. You've gone through some sort of difficult ending, for sure. The Lovers. A new choice here. Gemini Energy. Or it could have been an ending in a partnership. The Moon. Pisces Energy. Illusion, doubt, confusion. Maybe uh, there was a difficult ending due to not knowing something with the moon. Um, why is the moon here? Spirit, why is the moon here? Whoa. Why is the moon here? Ah, temperance. Sagittarius energy. I feel like there was an illusion about time or balance. Tell me more about temperance. Like something appeared to be balanced, harmonious. Something appeared to be working. Maybe that was an illusion. Tell me about temperance. Yes, seven of swords. Something here was off and I feel it led to an ending uh, of some sort. You might have felt betrayed, deceived. You could have been dealing with a Gemini, a Cancer, a Sagittarius, or a Pisces, or all here. So that's what happened. I feel like you dropped a burden with the Ten of Wands reverse. You left something behind, I feel. Tell me about the Ten of Wands reverse. Why is the Ten of Wands reverse? What's this about? The full reverse. Can we watch the Ten of Wands reverse? Can we get one more? Yep, Eight of Cups. You walked away of, from something. You left something behind. You let something go completely. Um, I don't know if this was a risk for you because I have the full reverse. I don't know if this took some time. Maybe there was a delayed new beginning here. But you definitely left something behind. Four of Pentacles. Reverse and then Judgment, definitely. There, you had some sort of awakening, some sort of um, realization here. And you let something go. Okay. So let's see, what about your person? Spirit, help me clarify these energies. I feel like this person might have something to do with it because I, I think this temperance card is significant and this nine of pentacles as well. I feel like you became free of something or you are doing something on your own. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? Two of Wands. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? The Moon Reverse. Yes, this is connected. 
you realize something about this person something came out with the moon reverse there was a secret that came to light or something that an illusion that's being seen clearly tell me about the nine of five of wands that led to some conflict arguments drama yep and i have the seven of swords at the bottom of the deck again this person i don't know who they are but i don't think they treated you very well why is the two of wands here what's this two of wands about so i feel like they're trying to they are wanting to make a move yes i have the lovers the bottom of the deck here they're probably going to come forward and make some sort of offer to you. I feel like they're attracted to you. There's something about you that this person desires. Tell me about the hangman. Why is the hangman here? The star reverse Aquarius energy we're getting a lot of major arcanas by the way these are major shifts in energy seven of cups this person's trying to figure something out they're probably trying to figure out how they can approach you here or perhaps uh, the situation is a bit hopeless yeah they're trying to heal okay so what i'm seeing is he they're trying to heal something here there's could have been some sort of interference as well which could be fear a lack of movement a lack of action because the, the desire is there but that doesn't mean that they're actually doing it but with the seven of wands at the bottom here i feel like there's resistance from you or some sort of challenge here. Tell me about this Three of Swords reverse. Yeah, this person. This person, I feel like they. Um, I think they want a second chance. Or at least they want to try to heal this because they're drawn to you, right? But for some reason, they would have judgment reverse. The star reverse hangman. I feel like this person, they haven't really seen things. I don't know. It's like that is a bad choice to, to approach you. And I think it's because maybe they're not going to be coming to you with the right offer or the right intentions because i have temperance reversed judgment reverse it's like their judgment is blocked or perhaps they haven't learned from their past mistakes yes i have the seven of swords the world and the lovers so it's like yeah it's they want a new beginning with you a new cycle with you but there's something off about that with the seven of swords so be very careful if this person approaches you you know maybe their feelings are genuine but they're they're not being completely honest or just needing to be very strategic because they've already done something that they shouldn't have done tell me about temperance reverse why is temperance reverse Yep, Knight of Wands reverse. There's something not quite right here. I feel like they're going to wait or they're waiting for the right opportunity. Um, they're waiting to take action. And so it's almost like um, a back and forth, back and forth. They haven't really committed to what they want to do here. Yeah, they're heartbroken. They're disappointed. They might be wanting to talk here. Uh, maybe they're waiting for the right opportunity because they broke your heart here with the Ace of Cups reverse. Ah, oh, yeah. Two of Cups, Ace of Cups reverse. Um, I think they know that they messed something up that was really special. 
I feel like they're probably waiting for something like like almost like maybe they're waiting for a green light here I don't know if it's like from you or from somewhere else maybe they've sent a text or something because I have the queen of swords here followed by the king of swords reverse this could be sending a DM or something like that I'm waiting for a response back you know I feel like they really want you. I just don't think that they are taking the right action here. Because it's not a wands reverse. They don't complete what they start. They don't stick around for a long time. They're not very dependable. You can't you can't really count on them because they can't count on themselves. They typically jump in without thinking or are very impulsive, very rash, you know? And so usually things that they do, they don't really, they're not really successful. Now it could also be that this person, maybe they're waiting for something. Maybe if they're waiting for a green light from you, they're not going to make a move until that happens. Where is all of this headed? So I'm going to pick a couple cards here, Capricorn, to see where this is headed in the near future. Where is all of this headed? Where's all of this headed for the near future between Capricorn and this person? Where's all of this headed? The magician, someone wanting to make something happen, manifesting here. Oh, I forgot to get um, what this person's secretly thinking or feeling. Let me do that first. Using my secret moon oracle deck. Spirit, tell me what is this person secretly thinking or feeling about Capricorn? What would they tell Capricorn if they could? What would they tell Capricorn if they could? What are they secretly thinking or feeling? I need more time. Okay, so that's that temperance reversed. But I don't know, I, I'm feeling that might be a little bit of a cop out. <laughs> Please forgive me. Okay. Bottom of the deck. I'm confused. Yeah, I don't. I don't think this person needs more time because of. I don't know because time is running out, right? I just don't think that they're sure about following through. And please forgive me. Yeah, I feel like they could. They could be coming to you with this Knight of Cups, asking for forgiveness. Let's see. Where is all of this headed in the near future? King of Pentacles. Wow. This person could be wanting to present themselves as a King of Pentacles to you. Someone very stable. Oh, and Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so I feel like this is someone that wants to meet you at your level here. What do we need to know about this King of Pentacles and Queen of Pentacles? What do we need to know about this King of Pentacles? You know, this person could be manifesting a union between both of you. Eight of Wands, communication, movement. So I feel like this person's going to want to talk, um, take some sort of action here. But be very careful because I have the Three of Swords and the Queen of Cups reversed. So, you know, I feel like um, whatever happened between you really needs to get addressed. Because I don't think you're over it, Capricorn. We'll see. We'll see what this Eight of Wands is all about in this magician. I want to know exactly what this is. Is this, you know, someone manifesting some sort of uh, communication with you? Or what are their intentions with this, right? Thank you so much for watching, Capricorn. Please hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoy these readings. I want to see more. Uh, leave me a comment if this resonated. I'd love to hear from you and I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.